All right, everyone, welcome back. We're going to be going over the fractal nature of a POI. Now, a POI stands for point of interest. Some people know it as area of interest, right? So let's say that we have a point of interest right here. Now, you may be asking, what do we use for a point of interest? Now, for this example, we're going to be using a order block. Right. If you don't know what a order block is, don't worry. That's something that will be taught throughout the course down the road. Okay. So we're going to be using a order block as a POI. So if this is a four hour order block, inside of that four hour order block, there's going to be a smaller time frame order block. So there's going to be a one hour order block. Inside of that one hour order block, there's going to be a 15 minute order block. All right, and the cycle continues, just like structure, just like liquidity, right? A POI is fractal. And when I say POI, I'm talking in general, all of the concepts that we use. So order blocks, rejection blocks, etc. right? So it's just a general uh, talk, let's say. But for this example, we're using a order block, okay? So the cycle continues, right? From the 15 to the five to the one, because it's fractal, just like structure, just like liquidity. So let's say that we have a order block right here. So all of this becomes your point of interest, right? An area that you wanna Watch when price reaches there. So now, if we know that POI is fractal, then that means that we can refine our POI to a lower time frame. So we refine it down to a, let's say, five minute. So now our stop loss went from here to here, not up here no more. So now we have a tighter stop loss. So when price comes up here, we get tagged in with a tighter stop loss. Let's say the stop loss up here was 15 pips, and now you reduced it down to, let's say, five pips. It's a big difference. And this is why we're able to refine our POIs, because it's fractal. This is why it works. This is why you can refine it all the way down to a one minute order block. In other words, to a POI, to a two minute, three minute, five minute. This is why it works because it's a fractal, just like structure and liquidity. Just like structure. How come we can enter earlier than most of the people? Because the market is fractal. That's how you can catch the insane entries, right? Liquidity is fractal. So the same thing with a POI. Let's go over another example. So let's say this was the 15 minute. It's a 15 minute POI, right? And you're waiting for price to reach down here. And you're deciding that you're not gonna wait for price to give you any type of confirmation on that POI, but you wanna take it directly. But you also know that you can refine the POI because it's fractal. So let's say that we refine the POI. And let's say the POI is now refined to to the one minute block, right? So now notice this, right? The 15 minute block, the stop loss is down here. When you refine this down to the one minute, the stop loss did not change. It's still the same. The only thing that changed now was the entry. The entry changed. That was it. But now, what does that mean? That means that price can tap the open and leave without you. Or it could tag you in and then go, right? So because we know that it's fractal, 
right? And we know that price can come to that certain POI on the lower time frame, but that doesn't mean it has to. It doesn't mean it's going to, right? The market doesn't need to do what you want it to do. It's going to do whatever it wants to do. It's our, our job to anticipate, not guess, but to anticipate what's going to happen, right? So in other words, if you don't want to take a direct entry, then you can just wait, right? And let the market show you his hands. So again, we refine it down to this purple box right here. What changed? The stop loss didn't, but the entry did, right? We're able to do that because why? It's fractal, right? How come we were able to reduce Right, they stop loss to be right here and not up here because the market is fractal, right? Now, these are just examples. These are not how to enter the market, right? These are just examples teaching you the fractal nature of a POI, okay? There's ways that we enter the market. These are not exactly how we enter. It's just examples, right? But I want you, again, to understand the entire logic behind this, right? So a POI is pretty straightforward, the same way as liquidity and structure. It repeats on every time frame. It's on every time frame. That's what fractal is, right? It's just infinite, infinity and beyond, pretty much, right? So that's it for now. On to the next one.